the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hi everyone and welcome back to our Gmail training. In this lesson, we're going to explore one of Gmail's greatest features, which is filters. With filters, you can send incoming emails to a label. You can automatically archive it, star it, or forward it. Okay, so we talked about labels and how we were able to create those from both out here in our email, but also by going into our settings. So let's do the same with filters. We're going to go first into our settings by clicking on the setting gear in the top right corner and then clicking on see all settings. In the menu along the top, click on filters and blocked addresses. To begin with, you may not have any filters, but if you do, you will see those listed here with an option to edit or delete them. At the bottom, I have the ability to create new filters or import filters. Notice that when I click the create filter button, what appears? It looks like the search box at the very top of my screen opened up. And that's because it is the search box. Notice it says search in the bottom right corner and it says create filter as well. That means this one single box gives you the ability to search and the ability to create a filter, whichever option you are looking for. Now let's go back to our main screen and at the top, when you click on the search bar, notice we don't see the exact same window that we just saw. So to make that window appear, click on the options button that you see on the right of the search bar. Great. Now from here, we need to identify how we want these emails to be filtered. This is all going to depend on the type of email that you're attempting to filter. So for example, if you want to filter all of the incoming emails from your manager or supervisor, you would type in their email address in from. If you're trying to filter emails that come from anybody, but maybe it has a specific topic such as iPads, you could write iPad in the subject or has the words. Once you have added your criteria, click create filter. Notice the options that you have here. One of the most powerful things you can do is apply a label. Why? Remember, we talked about the power of using labels, especially with the use of color to train our brain to quickly and easily scan our inbox for the most important emails when we first log in. So select a label, and then also make sure to select the very last button that says also apply filter to matching conversations. This will apply the feature to all previous emails that you've received. Make sure there isn't anything else that you would like to select and then click create filter. All right, now let's watch this in action. So I'm going to send myself an email and notice how I'm not going to touch anything on my screen. And as the email comes in, the label is automatically applied. The more email filters I create, the more manageable my email is going to become. Now let's go back and look at this again. Click on the search options button at the top of your screen. I also like to use the to box to automatically apply a label every time I email a person. Maybe it's a client. Maybe it's a colleague. Maybe it is my boss, whatever it may be. Another way that this can be used is if you happen to be on some form of mailing list, such as daily campus visitors, or it's the sort of colleague basketball team announcements that go out. You can set those emails to mark as read. Maybe also have it archived or apply a certain label so that you can still reference it when needed, but it's not taking up space when you log in and check your email each day. Okay, now before we jump off of here, one last thing I want to show you is that you can open an email and in the top right corner, click the three dots. From this menu, select filter messages like these. Check to make sure that the filter is set up the way that you would like, such as who the email is coming from or what the subject is. Sometimes you may have to make adjustments. From here, continue as normal with creating your filter. Okay, so that's the wonderful feature of filters in Gmail. Prioritize and manage those incoming emails. You can automate labeling or actions and ultimately reduce your stress. Your brain will thank you. And dare I say it, 
email can now be enjoyable. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.